received the request username we are also printing the pin and the card number and this is the problem that we want to solve we shouldn't be logging like this hi everyone welcome to my channel code with ease by varsha so when we had done a poll 3 weeks back apart from this system design all components overview which we are anyway uh, doing today's topic is how to mask the sensitive information which is already logged in spring boot so we'll learn how to do that step by step so going to my intellij so this is a very simple uh, controller that we have written before that i just want to show you the pom.xml uh, we have a spring boot starter and i have added a log4j2 dependency so with this video you'll also learn how to work with log4j uh, xml files so i've added this dependency and when you add this remember to also uh, to avoid the conflict also exclude the spring boot starter login okay, which is the starter dependency of logging from from this uh, starter package otherwise the log4j changes will not come into effect and we have a starter web also because we'll be starting the tomcat server uh, so this is the pom xml changes going to the controller that we have we have a very simple controller where i'm just trying to log some sample data which is which is supposed to get masked eventually so if i just uh, okay if, so i'm just logging this information like the pin and the card number one more thing is i want to show you the log4j to xml this is the xml file okay now here this part is important the appenders over here if you see this is a layout which we have defined like at what this is going to this is the pattern layout like your log message which is going to come what is the pattern of that log message the first we have the year month date and then the time then we have the log level then we have the thread which thread is used and the log message so this is the pattern remember this pattern this is what we are going to play around with also and since the console name is console it is going to come to the standard output in our terminal console so this is the simple change now let me start the application first so i just started the server and this is the uh, mapping that we have to understand that is the pattern layout right so we have first the date time the log level and then we have the name of the package in square braces we have the name of the thread and the log message also there is a percent n like a new line character for every to separate the log messages with the new line so now into my postman i just want to hit this and i get a 200 now if i go to my id notice this particular log message we have received the request username we are also printing the pin and the card number and this is the problem that we want to solve we shouldn't be logging like this so what is the thing we have to do so that we can mask it the card number and the pin so in order to solve this problem we need to use a converter class which is going to convert or format or post process the log messages so or we already have a class which is called the log masking so i'll just comment this out and i'll explain to you guys line by line let me stop the server okay so first of all we have a masking converter class which is extending this particular class called log event pattern converter it is part of the log4j package now this class is used to handle like it is saying that is a base class to format the information like basically any log event that you are uh, putting out it will handle and format that handle the log event and format that log uh, event based on what pattern you have defined in the log4j2.xml so basically any customization if you have to do with the log messages you have to extend this particular class it has a format method we'll come to that in a minute so this is the first thing you have to do coming to this part these two annotations so first is the plugin which is part of the log4j framework it has a name and a category so what is this plugin annotation it is part of the log4j uh, uh, this is part of the log4j framework and whenever you want to register a certain class as a plugin you have to use this adderit plugin but let me just take you to one article where it actually tells you what plugins are so over here it is mentioned that log4j uses plugins like appenders and layouts to format and output the logs okay now there are a lot of options to choose from and they these are the following five categories of plugins which you can extend so for our use case we need a converter plugin right so basically so far we understood that whenever we want to format and output the log messages we'll be using the adderet plugin define the name what is the name of the plugin and the category next is adderet converter keys this is important this converter keys the whatever value you put inside this is what we are going to refer in the pattern layout over here we'll again show that in a minute that is what we are going to refer over there it is the key which is going to be referred and it is going to be replaced in the log messages so it will look for that particular key and then it will see okay this is the class it is associated with this is the converter class it is associated with 
and it will try to do the masking. So, so far so good. We have a logger over here, normal. Next is here we have a regex pattern. Now, this pattern is just going to have as of now these two particular parameters, pin and card number. But as per your business use case, you can keep on adding uh, n n number of uh, fields to this. And for example, it will look for a pin which is followed by four digits. It will look for a card number which is followed by sixteen digits, and so on and so. Forth. So this much is done now. Here is the constructor which is going to be involved in the new instance method. So we need to define a static new instance method. Okay, this new instance method is again going to invoke this particular constructor by passing in the name and the style. Style is null. It is fine. You can just give it MSG mask or any any name you can give. And I've just added a logger just to show where it is called. Okay, so these are the constructors. The next is this format. So if I again go back to this class, the log event pattern converter, scroll down. There's an abstract method called format. Again, this needs to be overridden by the implementing class. Our implementing class is masking converter. So we are going to override this. And this is what will format the event into a string buffer. So it takes in the log event, every log event that is coming. And it is going to format it and append it to the string buffer, and that formatted message is what will be shown. That is why we are using. Um, I mean, not a string buffer; it's a string builder. I, I meant it is just a buffer class, like a buffer uh, kind of a storage it is having. Okay, so if we go through this, this is simple, plain and simple business logic, uh, where we are first taking the log event, getting the message, getting the formatted message, and then uh, I'll just show you using the debugger also. Then we have a matcher class. This is like basic regex handling. Like you have a pattern, you need to match it, create a matcher object. We are using a string buffer to append over here. So whenever there's a match found, uh, this is going to be. So whenever there is a, so this is going to be a uh, whenever there's a match found. So it is going to check if that particular line contains pin. If it does, it's just going to replace it. So if you want to, let's say, replace all the four digits, this is what you have to do. Let's say if you want to uh, not show, uh, not mask all the four digits again. In this case, what we have done is we are just trying to uh, mask the twelve uh, digits of the card number, and the last four is what we are going to show, right? So this is what we are doing. It's just simple, plain and simple business logic, and appending it uh, to the end, like the two append to that string builder. We are just appending over here. Okay. Uh, Now this is done. So this is the class change. This is like one time class change which you have to do. Then going to my log four j two dot xml here, I will change this this person msg to the converter key which whose value was msg mask. This is what I'll be doing. Okay. So this is done. My masking converter is also there. And uh, now let me try to run this application. Okay, it started. Let me go to the IntelliJ, and here we see that the pin and the card number is masked already. Okay, so now oh, one more thing I forgot to show. You see the first line that new instance method. Remember this logger. This is the first thing which gets con uh, which gets invoked, followed by the constructor call. So in this way, in this way, we are masking the information whatever we have. You can append n number of fields to this, and uh, whatever fields you add, just do the necessary business logic, uh, business logics uh, replacement over here, and you'll be done. And of course, don't forget to make changes in the log four j two dot xml to append or uh, the converter key which you have defined in the masking converter, which is over here. That's it. So with that, we are wrapping today's up, uh, wrapping today's video. It's a very short video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys got some value. and uh, if you had uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments don't forget to don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much